Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very troubling situation going on right now. Uh, Russia, it is like a war on words and a fight for Syria like none other in the world there. It is certainly a flashpoint that I am concerned is going to be ignited into a third world war if things don't quickly change. Russia now, uh, speaking about, President Putin was speaking about the massive number of civilian bodies laying in the streets of Raqqa uh, after the U.S.-led coalition has bombed the city into oblivion. And as they point out as well, this is not ISIS militants that they were, they were targeting, but rather the Syrian civilian population that's being targeted. He said the bodies have been left in the rubble there for days and no one is able to get them buried. Putin said an investigation must be done. And at the same time, the U.S. is leveling accusations against Russia over East Ghouta. But we know that even from sources that we have on the ground there, is that the militants are not allowing civilians to leave the area. It is a tremendous humanitarian disaster in East Ghouta. And, of course, as Russian and Syrian airstrikes continue on, the, the civilian death toll mounts there as well. As, as we have showed you already, that they even put the Syrians into cages so that they'll be bombed and killed and raise the death toll. And now Washington taking the State Department. Talk about a spotlight of politics. They bring the White Helmets, which is d definitely a terrorist organization, bring them to Washington, D.C. there, put them in some tuxedos, make them look like gentlemen when we know they're nothing but a bunch of thugs that have worked with groups like Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, that have actually beheaded 12-year-old boy before. Very troubling situation, as Dr. Henry Lowendorf pointed out, we are facing a mass, a mass of propaganda in the United States. This is a peace activist that went to Syria, met with the opposition as well as the Syrian government to come back to tell us that we are being lied to. And we've already did the three, uh, three, three different day broadcast there on the sarin gas and how that is nothing but a propaganda mass as well. And, uh, and you know, it's also interesting, I didn't say this to you guys the other day, but I'll just throw this in there now while I'm at it. Uh, the whole issue where some have come out saying that, well, we knew fully in advance that we knew who the pilot was, the Syrian pilot that did this, that used the sarin gas on the civilians in uh, Khan Sheikhoun last year. We knew who they were. We knew which plane it was. We know that Russia gave them a bomb. Oh, wow. I'm sure you did. Why? Because we found out that Russia was coordinating with the United States so that there would be no mix-ups. In fact, Russia goes so far as they say every detail three days in advance. The Russians were working with the U.S. counterparts. There was going to be a meeting in a certain building. It was a two-story building. They were targeting. There were two factions that were going to work together to, to start fighting against President Bashar al-Assad. Russia said to the United States they were going to take and provide the Syrian uh, military with a guided missile to take that ass, that target out. They also spoke which pilot it would be, which plane they would be using, what day they would be doing it, and why they would be doing it. And then Russia made the big mistake. Russia contacted the CIA as well in the event that they may have assets that are working inside with these different groups that are there, and they would suffer the loss of a CIA agent, and Russia didn't want that happening. So they warned them. And as I shared with you, uh, Seymour Hirsch, the investigative journalist that had already revealed the rat line where the CIA operatives were working with President Erdogan to smuggle the sarin gas into, uh, into Syria via Turkey. And of course, you think then when Russia contacts the CIA, wow, that's the opportune time. Well, what do you know? We know when they're going to bomb, who's going to do it. We know all about it. Let's go ahead and take and detonate a sarin gas explosive in the street and say that Syria did it, and we know who did it. Of course you know who did it. Because the Russians were kind enough to say what was going on. But no, it wasn't them that dropped the sarin gas bomb. Instead, it was jihadists using sarin gas, once again, against the civilian population. Let me tell you something, friends. People don't want you to hear these type videos. I can tell you that right now. And uh, because the deep state is being un covered. That's not anti-American either. Let me tell you something. If you really love America, you need to wake up 
and get the people educated so that we can realize the deep state has hijacked our country. And if you can, run over to, to, to Danoon Institute. We're having some major internet technical difficulties right now. Don't know what's happening. It's like something is blocked. Everything was working fine. We were here la back in December. Something has gone south on us there. Uh, but we did get, we had to lower the quality of the video. We're going to load it here on Israeli News Live. But suddenly, a uh, major issue happened there. And uh, we couldn't get the video loaded all last night. All last night, early this morning, nothing's loading, nothing's working. Lowered the quality of the video. Finally, it loaded on Danoon Institute, I believe. Uh, it is a most incredible insight you could ever imagine. It is going to be part of the book, but I had to bring this out because you know what? Time is short. Got to let you know what's going on. And you know, just listen carefully what I say in these videos because I find it all the time. It's interesting how the, the insights that God gives me. You know, ministers all over the world end up sharing it and stuff. They never tell you where they got it from, but that's all right. You know, the thing is, as long as we get the message out, all right. It's interesting what's going to happen here. And soon that book will be ready and we will get this book to print. Uh, I'm hoping in the next uh, two to three months I can finish it. But it is in depth, as you will see in the video on Janoon Institute. Shalom. God bless you.